my gosh, and we're back with another video about the Twitch queen of thoughtery herself. Amaranth, the ever popular Twitch streamer, is once again in the headlines, and man, I bet you can't guess what it is this time. Spoiler alert, it's the exact same thing it's been every other time. You know, at this point, I kind of feel like every like three to six months, I just know that I'm going to be reporting on Amaranth again. It seems to be like, it, it seems to be pretty consistent at this point, right? Like there's like three months of like sort of quiet. She kind of just does her thing. She pops up in memes every now and then of people making fun of her streams and making fun of how easy and gullible her audience is. But then as soon as that grace period is over, it's about her getting banned again. This time around though, maybe things will be a little bit different. Maybe she'll actually learn something. Maybe her audience will realize her content is garbage. You know, although to be fair, she does have occasionally funny content. She seems like she has a decent personality like off screen, but that's not saying very much considering that I've never seen her off screen and considering that I doubt anyone in her audience has seen her off screen. I'm getting really off topic. So what happened? Well, for the fifth time since 2019, Amaranth has once again been banned from Twitch. Although it's funny to note this time, it wasn't just Twitch. So yes, Twitch has discontinued her platform yet again. This comes hot on the heels of a few months ago when she had her ad revenue delayed and suspended after the whole controversial hot tub streaming thing kicked off, which I don't really care. We already made a video on that. It is what it is. I do think it's lazy content, but at the end of the day, I mean, the people who are supporting it are the ones to blame. So I mean, you know, why not keep doing things that work is all I'm saying. So anyways, so this time around, we're not 100% sure what got her banned. Although presumably considering that she didn't really change any of her content and she's still doing all this weird shitty like sexual ASMR stuff, it probably isn't that far to guess that's what happened. But as I said, it wasn't just Twitch. So Instagram and TikTok as well have banned the personality. And for those of you who might be thinking, ah, eh, whatever, she was mostly on Twitch anyways, that's actually not entirely true. She has a lot of followers across these three platforms, guys. We're talking millions upon millions of people follow Amaranth across her different social medias. And you gotta bear in mind, right? For somebody like Amaranth, this means that your entire stream of revenue is currently on hold. Well, maybe not your entire stream of revenue because you have sponsorships and you have, you know, affiliates and stuff like that. But, you know, you don't really get any of your advertising revenue and now you kind of have to find other things to do, which doesn't really matter because when you have millions of followers, I'm sure she's got plenty of a nest egg, so she probably really isn't freaking out all that much. But either way, we also don't really entirely know. I'm kind of just speculating, which is why this video is so short. Amaranth has yet to comment on exactly what happened, although I'm sure it's only a matter of time before either her account gets reactivated or she comes out and says something and just says she's moving on to a different platform, which is not gonna happen, let's be honest. They'll bring her right back because she makes way too much traffic to Twitch for her then just to get rid of her. Which is kind of just indicative of the whole problem with Twitch anyways, that they have this really strange double standard of being like, hey, you know what? Certain people, you can't say certain things, you can't show certain things. Some things are just a little bit too explicit, we're just not okay with that. But when it comes to just straight up like porn ASMR stuff from people like Amaranth or these extremely sexually suggestive like hot tub streams or basically you know all but stripping for the camera those are fine as long as you have a lot of followers and you're driving a lot of traffic to twitch then it's perfectly chill anything before that no 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 you're you're on thin ice i, I mean just look at amaranth as an example she's been banned five times in two years and they still let her come back time and time and time again. I can pretty much guarantee you for anybody else in the industry, when you get banned from something five times, usually that's indicative of you're not coming back after the next time. So who knows, maybe this is her quote unquote third strike, and maybe this is the end of Amaranth as we know it, but I highly, highly doubt it. So thanks for checking out the video guys. Like I said, I know this one is super short. There's just not a ton of information on it right now. As soon as I have more information, I will probably make an update video on what exactly happened. But until then, just enjoy this short update. Also, as a brief side note, if you make it to the end of the video and you hear this particular section, I just wanted to address a couple of comments real quick on the mini lad video that I put up very recently, as in like, you know, yesterday. Um, there was a couple of comments from people saying they wanted me to do an update because mini lad started streaming again. I'm not going to do an update right now. I may do an update in like a week or two after he streams a few more times and I kind of gauge what the audience reaction is to him coming back within his community and to see like kind of how his like content goes and how his just overall reception is. I don't want to do an update right now because I didn't glean all that much from the stream that he did just the other day. But either way, I just wanted to give that brief update. Nonetheless, that wasn't what you came here for. But like I said, I just wanted to get it out there. So take care of you guys. Be sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you next time.